Welcome to the World of Tennis, presented by BNP Paribas. The scoop from inside and outside the lines. You'll be center court for some of the most insightful and entertaining stories from around the globe. Through the wit and wisdom of our host, Justin Gimmelstab, World of Tennis will take you inside the training room with Dr. VJ Vod, a physician for many ATP players and one of America's most respected doctors. You'll get the best read on the tours with Tennis Magazine in our weekly roundtable. And exclusive lessons from the legend with eight Grand Slams under his belt, Ivan Lendl. Watch all this and more coming up right now on the World of Tennis, presented by BNP Paribas. Welcome to the World of Tennis presented by BNP Paribas, where today we have a special opportunity. We're going to get to sit down with Ilana Kloss. At just 20 years of age, Ilana Kloss was the number one ranked doubles player in the world. Today, she's gone on to become the CEO and commissioner of World Team Tennis. We're also going to go back to Madison Square Garden, the site of one of the epic evenings in tennis history, Venus versus Serena Williams. Also, Billie Jean King getting honored by President Clinton. But first, let's take an inside look at one of tennis's great champions, Pete Sampras. This segment brought to you by Wilson, number one in tennis. Pete Sampras defined tennis in the 90s. There was no player more dominant or more graceful. He set a standard that no one ever thought would be surpassed. 14 Grand Slam titles, seven Wimbledons, five US Opens, and six consecutive years at number one. We had the rare opportunity to sit down with the tennis legend and get his insights on the game and what it takes to be a champion. Pete Sampras, in his own words. You know, you just, you need the whole package. You need to have the game, you need the heart, and you need the mind. Being there, being calm, having the right technique, having muscle memory, you know, and having a short memory. All that stuff's combined into winning Grand Slams. Hardest thing in sports is to stay on top. It's hard to get there. It's harder to stay there. You just feel like you got a bullseye on your chest. You feel like, you know, who's playing well, who's, you, you're just constantly looking over your shoulder. Young players now model their game around Sampras. For Sampras to become a legend, he learned from other legends. You know, I was always a Labor fan just because of his, his demeanor, the way he carried himself. He was a classy guy. He went on all surfaces and just a stud. And I um, saw him play when I was on tape when I was like 14, 15. I just, I love the, the fact that he was so graceful. You know, it just made it look really easy. Um, so he stuck with me. And then obviously growing up, more relevant times was, was Lendl and McEnroe and Connors. You know, I was a bit more like Yvonne in, in the way of, you know, I didn't say or do too much. I was pretty positive out there. and. Uh, didn't complain much, but I dealt with a few media types that wanted me to do more, say more. And I, listen, I was not going to sell out to make more money. I didn't need a PR guy. I wasn't. It just we are in a day and age where it is about that a little bit in the last 20 years. But I, I certainly wasn't going to sell myself out. Image was something that uh, didn't think about. I just was going to play my tennis. Was it going to change? Well, I think at, at my best, I, I felt unbeatable. As does Roger, as does Laver, as does Yvonne. I think each player and each decade has their unbeatable guy. I just felt, in my time, I just felt unbeatable. For a champion and a competitor, the hardest thing to do is walk away. For Sampras, who set the standard on and off the court, he left the game the way he played it, on his own terms. If I was going to play tennis, I was going to be the best player in the world. And after six years, and I broke the record, I had enough. You know, it's, it's sort of consuming sport where tennis is one of those sports where you can't hide. It's on you and I was consumed with tennis. You need to eat, live and breathe it. And I was willing to do that and sacrifice some other things in my life to be the best player in the world. Because you can't, I mean, tennis is one of those sports where you're playing 11 months of the year. You don't have much time off. It's up to you out there. And it's just, you become sort of this uh, Howard Hughes sort of character. And it's just the way I sort of live my life. And, and I look back at it now and it was worth it. Now, on February 28, 2011, Sampras will play longtime rival Andre Agassi at Madison Square Garden on the same night that legends Yvonne Lendl and John McEnroe renew their long rivalry in the heart of New York. It's an incredible night. Um, two of the best players uh, in the 80s, two of the best players in the 90s facing off in, in the Big Apple. I'm going to want to play well, I'm going to want to beat them, and certainly Andre's going to feel the same. You know, the bigger the match, the more I wanted it, or the more I wanted him. Um, I just felt like I was 
you know, I, I sort of live for those moments, you know, where that, when talking about image and ego, all this stuff, it, it's all wrapped up in a, in a tennis court for me. This is, this is what I care about. All this other stuff, it's okay, but this is, this is what's going to keep me up at night is, is this tennis match. Pete Sampras, in his own words. This segment was brought to you by Wilson, number one in tennis. For more information, go to wilson.com. Well, early on in Yvonne Lendl's illustrious career, he had a defining moment. 1984 French Open final. Down two sets to love against John McEnroe, he turns the tide of the match, wins in five sets, and goes on to win his first of eight Grand Slam championships. Everyone always talks about Lendl's huge serve, his powerful ground strokes, and his staggering endurance. But one of the underestimated parts of his game was always his volleying. Well, this week we're going to get a chance to hear from the Hall of Famer his keys to effective volleying on this week's Tennis Tip. Tennis Tips from Yvonne Lendl is brought to you by the Champions Academy. To me, a tennis match is like a puzzle made up of different shots. You need to work on all the pieces of the puzzle in order to control the point, which is the key to the game. Only then can you let the pieces gel together and complete the puzzle to win the match. Hi, I'm Ivan Lendl and today we're going to work on our volleys. Volley is the shot which you look to finish the point with. High volley is a shot which should be just a finishing shot. If you hit a big forehand and the opponent gets it back, you just come in and uh, help you put the volley away. Player which is more of a baseline player will come in where the ball is high and he has a high volley which he can put away. So it's important to practice high volleys. Low volley is a shot which uh, more aggressive players which come in a little sooner than uh, baseline players uh, have to hit a lot. If you serve and volley a lot you will have to hit lower volleys. Uh, most of the time you should hit them down the line, get in position for the next volley. If you go cross court you have to move and uh, your positioning is not that good. If you look at some of the best volleyers, uh, you can look at Drafter or Edberg. They're always very low with their body and uh, bent in the knees and they can scrape the low volley and still stay in the point and uh, then take advantage of a weaker shot possibly coming to them. Tennis Tips from Yvonne Lindel is brought to you by the Champions Academy, where greatness happens. For more information, visit champacademy.com. Coming up on the World of Tennis, presented by BNP Paribas, we sit down with Ilana Kloss to give you the inside scoop on World Team Tennis. Then later, don't miss tennis's most famous sisters squaring off at Madison Square Garden. Stay tuned. The World of Tennis, presented by BNP Paribas. It's brought to you by BNP Paribas, the bank for a changing world. Wilson, number one in tennis. Tennis Magazine. Get exclusive coverage online at tennis.com. Yvonne Lindel's Champions Academy. For more information, visit champacademy.com. And by the BNP Paribas Showdown. Four legends, two epic rivalries, one night of tennis. Tickets on sale September 27th.